Yo everybody, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Davis and welcome to my channel. You've heard the terms 401k and IRA toss around, but what's the difference? In this video, you're going to learn what these accounts are, what their differences are, how you can possibly get free money from your company, and how you can build your wealth in your sleep by using these accounts. Stay to the end of this video so that you can figure out the easiest way to get started with these accounts. Before we dive into what these accounts are, here's seven quick reasons why you should definitely invest in these retirement accounts. Invest in retirement accounts before brokerage accounts like Robinhood or Webull because it's more passive. Picking stocks, you don't need to keep up with any kind of news or follow any kind of technical analysis. All you have to do is some initial research and then after that it's all just automated investing. The nice exciting is investing in individual stocks, you get the benefit of building wealth over time without the stress and without doing much work. If the market goes up, down, or sideways, it doesn't really matter to you. If you're a busy student or a working professional, you don't really have much time to look into individual stocks. This is a really good way to get your feet wet and also to build your wealth over time. If you invest just $6,000 per year in these accounts, after 40 years you'll be a millionaire. Depending on which accounts you invest in, you can either pay less taxes now or you can choose to grow your wealth tax-free. give you a 10,000 foot view, IRAs and 401ks are specific accounts where you can take your money and invest it specifically for retirement. The idea is you should be investing throughout the duration of your career and the money should not be touched until retirement age. Limitations and penalties if you take out the money before you're 59 and a half. I'm just a random dude on the internet who's trying to help people understand retirement accounts, so before you do any investing, consult with a financial professional and do your own due diligence. What is a 401k? To me, when I first heard it, I had no idea what it was. And even to this day, it's still a confusing name that makes no sense and has no connection to what it actually is. A 401k is just a retirement account that's set up by your company. In your 401k, you can invest in various different funds that your 401k provider allows you to. For example, you can invest in a fund that represents a U.S. market or you can invest in funds that represent international markets such as China or India. When you're setting up your 401k, one thing you want to keep in mind is how much does your company match? According to CNBC, the average company match these days is 4.7%, meaning if you contribute 4% of your salary, then the company will match 100% of that. Something you should definitely do because that's free money and 100% return on your investment. If you want to try to get another 100% return on your investment, subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and then also click the like button as it'll help me out by telling YouTube to share this video out to more people. General benefits of a 401k are your company will set it up for you. Once you do enough research, you'll be well diversified depending on what funds you're investing in. And finally, once you set it up, your investments will be automatic each month. The main drawback of a 401k is the funds that you're investing in are limited based on the 401k provider less things to invest in and your expense ratios will be much higher but it really depends on the company that you work at and what offerings that they provide so keep those things in mind as you're investing. In 2020 the max you can contribute to your 401k is $19,500. And now the answer to the question what is an IRA? An IRA is an individual retirement account. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. I'm just kidding an IRA is a retirement account that has nothing to do with your company it's a retirement account that you set up yourself an IRA you have to seek out retirement companies yourself the most common ones are Vanguard and Fidelity personally I use Vanguard you really can't go wrong with either Fidelity or Vanguard both companies have fantastic customer service the lowest expense ratios in the industry and also the brand recognition that everybody mostly everybody uses for their retirement accounts I'm gonna make another video breaking down the difference between Vanguard and Fidelity and also which funds to invest in so subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos Generally speaking, an IRA compared to a 401k will definitely have more investing options for you to invest in and definitely lower expense ratios. Benefits of investing in an IRA compared to a 401k are generally you're going to have more investing options for funds, you're going to have lower expense ratios, and then you're also going to have the ability to invest in individual stocks, options, or bonds if you want to try to do that. The biggest drawback of an IRA is the annual contribution limit is only $6,000 compared to a 401k contribution limit of $19,500. Now that you know what a 401k and an individual retirement account is, there are actually different buckets based on taxes that can help you build your wealth faster. To get more specific, there's something called a traditional 401k and a traditional individual retirement account. All that means is you invest your money now, you let it grow, and then once you take it out during retirement, you get taxed. There's also accounts called Roth 401k and Roth individual retirement accounts. All that means is you pay your taxes now, basically the money after your paycheck, and then you invest it, let it grow, and then when you pull out the money for retirement, there is no taxes. Are you wondering, well, which one should I invest in? Well, if you anticipate your income growing throughout the duration of your career, that means your taxes will also go up. So your best bet is to invest in a Roth 401k because your taxes are going to be much lower now, and then your money will grow, and then by the time you retire, then you will be able to pull out your money tax-free. Some companies will offer a Roth 401k, so what you should consider doing is maxing out your Roth IRA and then whatever you can, invest the rest into your traditional 401k at your company. The reason why you want to do this is because you would have tax diversification. 
we have no idea what taxes are going to be 20, 30, or 40 years down the line. So at least you'll have $6,000 growing for 30 to 40 years, however long you're going to be working. And then you'll be able to pull that money out tax free. Now you know what a 401k is, an IRA, and the various tax buckets. Now you're probably wondering what should you invest in? The main benefits for these retirement accounts are the investments are passive and your wealth is just going to grow over time after you do some initial research. If you're just starting a new job or you finally have time to look into this, I say the easiest thing to get invested in is the life cycle funds. If you're interested in researching individual funds, I'm going to make another video on the best funds to invest in for Fidelity and Vanguard, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. Cycle funds are designed to automatically invest for you based on your age. For example, if you're 20 now in the year 2020 and you plan on retiring during your traditional age of 65, then the life cycle fund that you would invest in is the 2065 fund. That's 2020 plus 45 years. These funds will automatically shift your investments for you as you grow older. Automatically diversify you by investing in the US stock market, international markets, and even bonds. Funds will start off as more risky as you're younger because the goal is to build more wealth as you're younger because you can take on more risk and you have more time for your accounts to recover. And as you get older and closer towards retirement age, these funds will automatically shift to be more conservative because the goal then will be to preserve your For now, you have a high level overview of what a 401k is and an IRA. And this is a great first step towards building your wealth passively. If you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot, help me out by clicking the like button as it'll tell YouTube to share this video out to more people. And subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.